Welcome to DNT. I'm Mrs. Nichols and I'm the Head of Resistant Materials here at Holmer Green School. We are very fortunate to have two well equipped workshops with the usual um, traditional machinery plus a brazing hearth and a metal lathe. CAD CAM is also a strength of the department. We have a number of 3D printers plus a laser cutter. We have access to an ICT room and a, a set of laptops which we can use. Uh, DT is taught on a carousel system in year 7 and 8, so children get six weeks in each year studying DNT. In year seven, the project undertaken is a handheld maze. In this project, they are taught to design using an iterative process where they try, test, and improve their ideas to reach a final design. They also learn how to use 3D CAD software and how to 3D print their designs. Projects are open-ended so that pupils can be challenged with more complex designs and practical skills. Some pupils find the visual nature of the subject really helpful, as is the opportunity to be out of their seats and learning by doing. We are also fortunate to have a full-time technician, so there is often two adults in the room to support the pupils. In year eight, the speaker project introduces electronics and soldering, as well as how to use the laser cutter to produce their own designs. From these humble beginnings, children can continue to carry on GCSE D&T, where they continue to develop their skills and their understanding to the position till they're in the point where they're designing and making products that have the potential to be commercially viable. At the end of year eight, we also offer BTEC BTEC construction and the built environment, which offers a stepping stone into any of the those sectors. Uh, the recent building of the Nightingale Hospitals show how valuable these skills are. In terms of enrichment opportunities, pupils can enter the Rotary Club Tech Tournament where an engineering challenge is set in the morning and pupils have the day and limited materials to produce working models, which are then tested and judged. For the last two years, pupils have also entered and reached the final of a local school's Robot Wars competition, which is run by the world champion team Storm 2 from the TV Robot Wars series. Looking to the future, studying D&T or construction at GCSE could lead to any creative career that requires the wide range of valuable skills taught. Designing products for the automobile industry to graphic products, engineering or manufacturing, again the need for these skills can be seen all around us. The cars we drive, the houses we live in, the internet and the devices we need to access it that we have come to rely on so heavily in recent months, all had to be designed, engineered and manufactured by someone. The ability to quickly adapt to manufacturing ventilators and PPE in recent months has highlighted how essential these skills are to our society. At Homer Green, uh, we continually evolve what we're doing. It's a very fast moving subject. We've introduced CAD CAM, so those skills have been included in what we teach. And we're also including embedding intelligence into products as well as the more traditional methods.